Thank you. As we approach the last two songs of the night, I wanted to read you a poem that perfectly precedes this next song. I've never felt like I'm, I'm just, I'm just speaking out like right now. I'm talking. This is not the poem. I've never felt like I belong anywhere except for here my whole life. And I just, it means a lot that you guys are here. Thank you. <laughs> This is um, all I've ever wanted to do since I was five years old. <laughs> and the last few years have been really hard to be an artist. And I thought about quitting so many times, but writing this book made me realize that I have to keep going. <laughs> I don't want to, um, what I want as an artist is to play theaters like this to crowds like you that want to be moved and want to laugh and want to cry and want to feel something. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that tonight. <laughs> poem called Wallflower. <sighs> Once I was only a wallflower, watching the bees in the room. I laughed when they laughed and I answered when they asked, and only on their account did I move. Once I was only a seedling, hundreds of days from a bloom, I watched everyone else stand taller than myself while others admired their fruit. Once I was just a young daisy, with petals of my very own yellow, I dreamed to be pretty, I hoped that they'd pick me, but they found my color too mellow. Once I became a sunflower, bright and beautiful, sun on my face. It had been long since the day I grew slow in the shade, too afraid to take up my own space. And as I grew taller and stronger, others came from afar for my nectar. Sweet and potent it was from all of the love and wisdom that I had collected. I remembered once I was a wallflower, an observer so small in the room. It wasn't time for my turn. And I'm glad that I learned the beauty in a belated bloom. <laughs> 